We'll see now what happens as he faces the three-hitter, Elizalde. But basically, Steve Carsey's response was, he's going to be a starter here in AAA for now, but essentially, whether Mike Clevenger is a starter or a reliever down the road for Cleveland is up to Mike and what he does here in this Columbus rotation. If he pitches really well as a starter and continues to show that consistency they're looking for, then that's the path he'll be on to be part of the starting five in Cleveland when there is an opening because of injury or poor performance or whatever the case might be. Going to get some double-barreled action in the Clippers' bullpen. A righty, I think Josh Martin, and then a lefty. Tyler We're going to see Olson. a visit here from the aforementioned pitching coach, Steve Carsey. So it's two on, two outs. We're in the top of the sixth. Sebastian Elizalde is coming up. He's reached on an error and has walked. The Clippers are leading three to nothing. Scott Leo and Eric Welch with you today. Happy Easter as we bring you Clippers baseball. From Huntington Park, final game of this four-game series. Day off tomorrow. Clippers hit the road to go to Lehigh Valley for three and then on to Buffalo for three games at Coca-Cola Field. So it'll be Coca-Cola Park and then Coca-Cola Field. And, Eric, you're on that trip. I want you to make sure that at all times you know what ballpark you are in. That's absolutely right. Because that's important. And then this Louisville team, they have a day off tomorrow, and they host scranton Wilkesbury starting on Tuesday. They'll have a six-game homestand against Scranton and then Durham. One ball, one strike to Elizalde. Don't worry too much about the ballparks because I still want to call Buffalo's stadium Dunn Tire Park, which is what it was named when, when I first came here to Columbus. Here's the beauty of it. I have never called it that. Not once. Not once, and I love the product that the ballparks, both of them, Lehigh Valley and Buffalo, are named after, so I, I won't have a hard time with that. 1-1 one, one pitch is low, and it's two balls and a strike to Elizalde. That's got both Martin and Olsen are ready in the bullpen. You have a right-hander, or, yeah, right-hander Renda on deck. Clevenger sits on 95 pitches, 64 strikes, trying to get through this sixth inning of work and keep the bats off the scoreboard. He's ready. Checks that runner back at second. Here comes the 2-1. Just outside. 92 on the gun, and Clevenger does his best not to react there, but the crowd is doing it for him. Some oohs and ahs and some grumbling from this Clippers crowd, they thought that was a strike. Instead, it's now three and one. The pause and the pitch. Cut on and fouled right back to the screen. It is now full. So big pitch here for Clevenger. The runners will be in motion. And he is trying to dispatch of the three-hitter and right fielder, Elizalde, who came into play today batting 462 on a Louisville team that leads the league in batting. Outfield straight away. From second is Perez. From first is Vinci. First base side of the rubber, Clevenger. Pauses just above the belt. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. How about that to finish the day? Fastball down in the zone. Elizalde could do nothing with it. Mike Clevenger will head into the Columbus dugout and get high fives and fist bumps from his teammates. An eight-strikeout performance. 